Here's a fun drinking game you can play while watching this video. Every time I mispronounce something, take a shot. Get ready to take a lot of fucking shots, guys. <laughs> Today we are looking at the latest album from Finnish folk metal crew, Thin Troll, their first album in nearly seven years entitled Vredesvad, also Cheers. Typically we don't talk about a lot of folk metal on the Metal Meltdown because it's one of the few metal subgenres that I personally don't really care for. But even I would be foolish to ignore this new album from Thin Troll, as they are one of the most important and influential bands to emerge not just out of the Finnish folk metal scene, but out of the entire folk metal genre. With records like Jatkins Tid and Natvod considered classics of folk metal still to this day, almost 20 years after their respective releases. And before I forget, two shots. Now I'm not really sure what Finn Troll have been up to in the last seven years, but one thing is certain, Finn Troll, even after all this time, is still very much Finn Troll. The sonic and conceptual elements that have defined this band and their particular fusion of melodic black metal and folk metal very much remain intact on Vredisvad. A lot of troll and goblin-like vocals, both lead and backing vocals, a lot of murky yet abrasive guitar and bass, a lot of synthesizers, a lot of charms, accordions, and string instruments. The general atmosphere of the record is very grim, very dark, very cold, very icy, almost hearkening to the days of mid-90s Norwegian black metal and records from Enslaved, Emperor, Ulver. It's genuinely very engaging, very captivating, very immersive, and in turn, very entertaining. And for somebody that, again, typically speaking, does not care much for folk metal, that's kind of a huge accomplishment. Like, I am often very picky about what folk metal I listen to in my spare time, and it often takes me a while to even get in to these select records. But this time around, and frankly for the first time in a while, I really didn't have any issue sinking my teeth into this black metal folk metal stake. I'm consistently drawn in by a lot of the melodies and epic soundscapes across the record. Take for instance the track Ormfolk, which has a very raucous charge and bounce to it almost sounding like a traditional folk song, the one you would find people singing in a pub, infused with a literal battle cry from an army of trolls. Or the track Forsen, which builds some very ominous and foreboding synthesizers and vocals on top of a delicious contrast between more mid-paced folk metal and some very abrasive melodic black metal. I'm willing to bet I got Orm Folk right, but I'm willing to bet I pronounced Forsen wrong, so let's take at least one shot to be safe. On my first playthrough of the record, some of the synthesizer work didn't quite stick with me. I found a lot of it to be a little cheesy, and I couldn't help but roll my eyes at certain moments, particularly in the album's literal introduction. But after my second playthrough, these parts did not bother me as much. In fact, I came to really appreciate the more bombastic and explosive moments of the record. Take for instance the track Mask, which has a little bit of a power metal grandiosity underneath its black metal icing, particularly in the very triumphant horns and strings found littered across the track attempting to break into the forefront of the sound. Or on the track Vid Haxons Hard, which almost reaches a winter sun level of complexity with its walls of synthesizers and orchestration. How many shots have I taken at this point? Eh, fuck it. I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. The sound mix as well does a really great job at balancing out all of the performances and making this feel very professional and even polished without compromising the black metal atmosphere and chaos. Like it still feels very raw despite being a very well produced and arranged record. Truthfully the biggest issue I have with this record is the simple fact that I have literally no fucking clue what's actually happening at any point on this record. And that's not just because I'm a dumb white Canadian who can't understand the Finnish language. That has a lot to do with the fact that Finn Troll are just, from a conceptual standpoint, inherently pretty fucking weird and maybe a little bit too nerdy for their own good. Like here's something I'm pulling from Wikipedia here. 
Fendroll's lyrics mainly deal with legends and tales revolving around the fictional troll king Riv Fader and the trolls fighting against the Christians who entered their lands and spread their beliefs. A recurring theme is the story of two priests named Amund and Kintel, and the first three full-length albums feature a rather short but fierce song about the two men who constantly get themselves into trouble with the trolls, only to get beaten up and mutilated over and over again by the wrathful followers of Riv Fader. So am I to understand that Finn Troll is taking the role of the troll army of Riv Fader, for that matter? Am I to understand that they are at war with the Christians still on this album? If so, does this mean I would have to listen to other Finn Troll albums in order to understand what's happening on this album? Like, to me, it seems like there's a surprising and unnecessary amount of homework required for an album that basically boils down to Dungeons and Dragons black metal. Also, I'm pretty sure I pronounced some of these names incorrectly, so here we go again. <laughs> what were we talking about again? I would honestly give this a strong 3.5 out of 5. Despite my personal inability to understand and comprehend the lyrics and the concept of this record, and for that matter, the broader concept and universe of Finn Troll itself, I was still thoroughly invested in a lot of the music on this record. It was epic when it needed to be, it was evil when it needed to be, it was simple and fun and catchy when it needed to be. And it did all of this in a surprisingly concise, cohesive, and well-produced package. Honestly, it makes me kind of excited to go back and listen to some of Finn Troll's other albums, and even to explore the broader spectrums of folk metal. Whether or not I will fully change my mind on the genre as a whole is up for debate, but hey, if a single album can pave the way to some simple exploration, that itself is an achievement. An achievement that should not go unrewarded in my opinion, so with that thought in mind, I will say to you all now, if you have been disenchanted by folk metal in the past, like myself, or if you're brand new to the genre, May I recommend sinking your teeth back into it, or for the first time, with this latest studio album from Finn Troll. So, 3.5 out of 5, I enjoyed this record a lot more than I thought I was going to, and uh, here's hoping it doesn't take Finn Troll another 7 years to release a new album. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown, I'm not an expert nor do I claim to be, so what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe right there so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown-y fucking immediately. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.